Seals, sea lions, and walruses are pinnipeds, a family whose Latin name means wing or fin-footed. Carnivorous marine mammals, they spend much of their lives at sea, but rest, mate, and rear their young on land. Surprisingly, their closest relatives are bears. 33 diverse species of pinnipeds scratch out a living in some of Earth's most hostile environments. And there's no shortage of predators with a taste for seal meat. Around the globe, many pinniped populations are growing, while others are crashing. These wild fluctuations in numbers remain a mystery. At the Open Ocean Research Center, specially trained sea lions help scientists investigate the animal's energy requirements and diving physiology. In Vancouver's Marine Mammal Rescue Center, abandoned and injured harbor seals are nursed back to health and released into the wild. At the University of British Columbia, researchers study many facets of pinniped biology. You can learn a lot about animals from what they eat and what they excrete. Remarkably intelligent and easily trained, seals and sea lions are popular attractions at marine parks and aquariums. And like pinnipeds in the wild, these guys certainly love a big meal. <laughs> at the UBC Open Water Research Station, highly trained sea lions provide researchers with new insights into pinniped behavior and biology. Fresh seafood is the animal's prime motivator and a key training tool. Gaining their trust and cooperation is challenging work. They just need a little incentive. Stellar sea lions in the wild eat quite a bit of herring. When the herring comes in to lay eggs and stuff, there's a lot of it around. They'll definitely eat as much of it as they can. The herring is a very high fat fish, so it's very calorically dense. It's got a lot of energy. It keeps the animals at a good, healthy weight. So right now, these animals are eating between five and eight kilograms of herring a day. We supplement the herring with the vitamins in order to replace the nutrients that get lost in the freezing process. Unlike dogs that are trained with food and praise, sea lions are all about the treats. Well, sea lions are very food motivated animals, so we use herring as their primary reinforcer to get them to do the research that we need them to do. If you walk out there and ask them to do something without a bucket of fish, they give you a look that says, uh, where's my fish? And they won't actually do anything. But when they see the fish, they're ready to go and they'll do anything we ask them. It's first thing in the morning, and the sea lions have a heavy day of in-water training. Seca. Nothing gets their attention like a bucket of fresh herring. And Sika's here has got a, a really cool vocalization. <laughs> Okay, Sika, let's put, uh, let's put your harness on, because we can attach all sorts of different equipment to the harness, and that way we can find out what's going on with the animals, how much energy they use, how they swim, all sorts of cool information. We have a camera here that we can mount onto the harness of the sea lions. And that way the animals can actually take their own, uh, their own video footage and we can see really what the animals are doing when they're out in the wild and we can't see them. The first training exercises of the day are swim tests. The animals are always eager to venture into the open sea. Ready for a swim? Okay, let's go. In the water. That's right, Sika. Right here. So when I have Sika swimming along the boat here like this, when I put my hand down, it means for her to go dive underwater and swim next to the boat. And she'll stay down there for uh, a short period of time, about 30 seconds, even up to a minute sometimes. And then if I raise my hand up, it means for her to surface, and that means I'm gonna give her reinforcement. And that's what we call a bridge. And a bridge tells the animals when they've done the behavior that we've looked for. 
The seals and sea lions have got different ways to swim. The seals use their hind flippers, they rely on a lot of blubber to stay warm, whereas the sea lions and fur seals are using their front flippers. It turns out to be not the most efficient way to swim. What we've learned here is that they're not great divers. We're really surprised to realize just that the average dive time is only about three minutes max, and that turns out to be an efficient way that they can dive continuously over and over. There you go, guys. Right there.